Now we know from earlier segments that uh, the motion of fluid mechanics can be rather interesting and, and quite dynamic. <clears throat> but what we're going to do here is we're going to try to break those down into a number of different basic motions. So we're going to look at the quantification of fluid motion. And what we'll try to do is come up with representations uh, in terms of quantities that we can measure or calculate, and usually that's velocity, uh, in being able to describe these different motions. So uh, when you look at a fluid, you know, there are four general types of motion. So there we have the four different types of motion, general motion and fluid mechanics. We have translation, which is basically just a fluid moving in the X and Y direction. It can be the Z as well. Uh, we have other motions. We have rotation, angular deformation, which is really shear related, and then linear deformation, which would be uh, expansion or contraction of the fluid. And what we're going to do now, we're going to use the magic of YouTube. So if you want to learn anything more about, not translation, translation is pretty boring, uh, but if you want to learn more about rotation, linear deformation, or angular deformation, just click on the box or the image and through the magic of YouTube, it will take you to a video segment that describes each of those. And at the end of those segments, there will be a return button that will bring you back to this video. And uh, so that is the quantification of fluid motion, four different types, translation, angular deformation, rotation, and linear deformation.